what are allergies and what are allergens we are going to see the definitions we are going to see what immune response they invoke on our body and we are going to see the symptoms that is what all this lesson asks you to learn okay now what are allergies allergies are exaggerated response do you suffer from any sort of allergy where your eyes get watery running nose and sneezing sort of uh, experiences felt as soon as some factor of environment comes into the scene that sneezing watery eyes running nose is the exaggerated response by immune system to a particular allergen now what is allergen allergen is the antigen that is present in environment so i hope you get an idea what we have to present if we are asked about definition of allergies and allergens antigen present in the environment which has the capability to trigger an exaggerated response of immune system is known as allergen that triggered response is allergy and how does it take place first of all because antigen is involved and to an antigen immune response is happening so we have generation of antibodies that will be taking place now what type of antibodies are produced ige you have to remember immunoglobulins of the e type are produced when allergens are present inside the body okay the body is exposed to allergens it is bound to produce ige types of antibodies apart from that the mast cells which are present they produce chemicals like histamine and serotonin histamine and serotonin are produced by mast cells which is responsible for the symptoms which the allergen brings about okay the symptoms of the allergy are produced by release of histamine and serotonin by the mast cells against the allergen the proteins which would come to engulf that allergen or the antigen would be ige type now you have to remember the types of uh, allergies if you can there is the simplest one is asthma many children who live in uh, modern day life of cities they are prone to asthma because our immune systems are getting degraded day by day our immune strength is declining day by day that is because of our uh, sedentary lifestyle i would say and thanks to the pollution conditions that we have we have the example of hay fever certain pollens will be responsible for bringing about this exaggerated response okay we have pollens we have animal dander we have dusts not dust sorry we have dust we have mites okay there are certain allergens in the environment which can bring about this allergic response which is exaggerated release of histamine and serotonin by mast cell as well as to counter the antigens which have entered the body we have the release of ige this is what allergy is now one thing you have to keep in mind that because this um, this immune response has its symptoms in the form of runny nose uh, red eyes itchy eyes you know the eyes give a burning sensation you sneeze a lot if you if the allergen is provided to the person in the immediate environment so how to overcome such symptoms certainly we have uh, the steroids which come to the rescue of a person suffering from allergy okay steroids we have other drugs which contain uh, epinephrine okay adrenal hormones that are also responsible for uh, slowing down this immune response or curtailing the immune response and then the symptoms slow down apart from steroids epinephrine we also have antihistamines which could be used to control the symptoms which the allergens have produced in the body and how do we identify that if the person is suffering from an allergy 
one thing is that symptoms are going to show otherwise if you have to find out if the person is su suffering from a specific allergy you have to provide small amount of the allergen and see what response that allergy is bringing about in the body what that particular antigen has caused inside the body what type of response has occurred inside the body that would be uh, helpful in identifying the body's immune response to a particular antigen and we can find out how the allergen is uh, performing in the body. So this is all about uh, allergies and allergens that you have to keep in mind. What is allergy? What are allergens? How the allergy takes place? What are the symptoms of allergy? And what if the allergy happens? What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to take these supplements so that the allergy symptoms are controlled. What are the various allergens we have written over here? What are the various types of allergy? That also you know. So, this is all about allergies and allergens.